Joram Peterson unveils a profound scrutiny of Canada. Its leadership and underlying political nuances intertwined with psychological observations through the lens of Dr. Jordan Peterson, a recognized figure in the field of psychology and political commentary. The conversation digs deep into the intricate interplay between politics, individual psychology, and society. The intricacies of left-wing authoritarianism, its origins, manifestations, and implications are central to this examination. As we proceed to review this insightful discussion, readers are encouraged to reflect upon the broader context of evolving global politics and the perennial quest for power and influence. Joram Peterson begins with a straightforward statement about Trudeau. Suggesting skepticism about his truthfulness, it serves as a gateway to deeper critiques. Let's put Canada on the psychiatrist's table. Let's diagnose Canadian society. Is it delusional? Is it paranoid? Is it stable? What is it? Blind, manipulated, led by, I think our leader, Trudeau. I don't think I've ever heard him say a true word. No, and I'm not trying to be overly dramatic in that regard. I've met people in my clinical practice and otherwise who were temperamentally incapable of any gesture or any word that was actually genuine. And that's a consequence of long practice. I think he's at least narcissistic, at minimum. And I think he's enabled by the useful idiots of the liberal left. And I actually think that's a very widespread problem and probably more typical of Canada now than any other developed country, much to our chagrin. So there's a developing body of research on left-wing authoritarianism. Now the social psychologists, who are a pretty woke bunch, denied that left-wing authoritarianism existed from the end of World War II until 2016. Joram Peterson focuses on the correlation between dark personality traits and left-wing authoritarianism, suggesting that such ideologies are not based on genuine compassion but one self-centered agendas. Peterson reminisces about the historical reliability of Canadian institutions and expresses a lament over their perceived decline. He examines the role of media, especially the Canadian Broadcast Corporation, and its transformation from a trustworthy institution to a propagandist and and finally the conclusion, Canada with its multifaceted history, robust institutions and diverse populace has always been a beacon of stability and progressiveness in North America. However, as time has evolved, so too have the socio-political landscapes, ideologies and public perceptions. Joram Peterson offers not just a commentary but a deep-seated analysis that interweaves psychology with politics, connecting individual traits to societal trends. His concerns about Trudeau are not just personal critiques but symbolize a broader apprehension about leadership in the contemporary world. Is the leader genuine or merely a reflection of what society demands? This question resonates not just for Canada but for democracies worldwide. The discussion on left-wing authoritarianism is particularly relevant in the context of today's polarized political climates. While right-wing ideologies have often been scrutinized, this examination of the left-wing emphasizes the need for balanced critique irrespective of one's leanings.